Guys, we love a blanket ladder. No um, lie. How many have we done? We've done a lot of blanket ladders, maybe like 10 if I had to guess. We've done a rustic ladder, mm -hmm. a modern ladder. We've done a lot of ladders. But today, we're gonna change it up a little bit more and we're going to do a barn door full blanket ladder. And why are we calling it that? Because these little guys right here, these little metal bars, these aren't just metal bars, they're barn door pulls. So we thought it'd be so fun to turn these on their side, incorporate a little wood, and bam. You got yourself a barn door pull blanket ladder. So all you need to build this ladder is two two by fours and five barn door pulls. We're gonna link these in the description box below, but you can have fun with it and make them however you want. That's right. All right, so the first step is to cut our two by fours. This is customizable. You can cut your two by fours as long as you want or as short as you want. How long are we going? Six feet, baby. All right, two two by fours cut. Now I'm gonna let Whitney stain them. Um, we'll be sure to link to the stain we used below so you guys can find it because it's beautiful. It's really rich brown. All right, we've got uh, both of our boards stained and now we're ready to place and attach this hardware. And we were just talking about where we might want to space these and I was suggesting maybe just right here on the edge of each one that gives you maximum width. And then we need to figure out how far apart we want all of the pieces. Mm -hmm. I like to see the top stick out so it actually looks like a ladder. Like five? Yeah, five, six inches, something like that. We could do four, but... The more hardware, the better. Actually. I know, that's what Come I was on. thinking. You know what, let's go 10. Nine, okay, go ten. so 10. Yeah. All right, all right. Ten. 10. So right. I actually think that looks perfect. I do too. You're not gonna hang anything down here. You can put a cute basket. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this first screw. These are super cute, Ash. How'd you find them? I found them online. But <laughs> that's all. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> but what I think is cool is <laughs> what's really cool for a blanket ladder like this, I wouldn't want to hide all of the rungs with the blankets. I'd probably put like three blankets on it and tuck them behind the rungs because that's like the cute part of this. That's all right. One of our favorite things about these handles is that they do pop up quite a bit, like almost two inches. It'll make the blanket stand out a little bit more. You want to make sure that you measure on the other side between each of the handles so that you don't have any cattywampus rungs. There's nothing worse than a cattywampus rung. So hardest project ever. All right, all done. All right, guys, so in about 15 minutes, we have designed one stinking cute barn door pool blanket ladder. And I think that is one of the beauties of a blanket ladder, is it's such an easy and inexpensive project that they are cute in every single room of your house. I love how tall we made this one. I think the six foot length is so pretty and I love the mix of the metal and the wood. And I don't like to hide these cute rungs, so instead of hanging five blankets on the ladder, I'll probably hang three so that I can tuck the blankets behind. You got yourself a barn door pool blanket ladder. 